Hey guys, welcome to your introduction to the next section of this series, which is all going to be about strings and working with them. Now, what in the world is a string? Do you need help advancing your coding skills? Check out my new program, Code Breakthrough. Code Breakthrough offers hands-on learning with Python and data structures, algorithms, and interview challenges. With a supportive community and regular new content, Code Breakthrough will help you get hired or advance your career. For a limited time launch special, use the link in the description to get 20% off your subscription. See you there. Well, a string is just a series of characters, where a character is pretty much anything you would type out on your keyboard. So it could be, you know, a C or a five or a space or an enter, whatever it might be. And you can put all of these in a sequence and you surround them with quotes. So a really common example you're gonna see is hello world and you start it with a quote and you end it with a quote. So this is a string literal. Again, there's that word literal. A literal is when we type the value out directly. And we can assign this to a variable like so and use it within a print statement like so. So very simple and we get hello world to the console. This is how to do a hello world inside of Python. Doing the same thing inside of other programming languages is not as simple. For example, inside of Java, you have to do system.out.println and then pass out the, pass in this message. And it's all surrounded within this giant thing, public static void main. However, we're not doing Java in this series, so apologies, but just consider yourself lucky that this is so easy. And I'm honestly out of things to say for this video. Wow, it's that easy, guys. Some of the things we're going to be talking about in the upcoming videos, we're going to first be talking about escape characters. We're going to be talking about single quotes versus double quotes. We're going to be talking about slicing strings and indexes. We're going to be talking about how strings are immutable. There's so many different things we're going to cover with strings. And it seems so simple, like we just have a string. However, there's so many different things we need to know in, how, in order to work with these strings properly.